Tuka Joe here for another infamous unboxing video because unboxing videos are the beauty pageants of war games. And today we have the Alamo March 6, 1836 Victory in Death published by Simulation Publications Inc. SPI in 1981. Designed by the designer of the Civil War by Victory Games, Eric Lee Smith. And this game is unpunched, although it seems like uh, it's survived the Alamo. Let's open the box. I like the art there. Davy Crockett doing the best he can with a rifle that doesn't have any more bullets. Or a musket. We have our here two classic squared shape dice from the 70s. And this is a propaganda sheet by SPI, you have a NATO division commander selling for $40. Drive on Washington, which you can get now uh, uh, on eBay for about 90 bucks, it's 10 bucks. So this is a good a piece of nostalgia here. We have another propaganda sheet for the game. I don't know why would they include the propaganda sheet for a game that you already bought, you know. That's an interesting marketing concept, I suppose. No wonder SPI went down. I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, here we have the rules. The Alamo. And it is in case format. Typical of SPI. And this is not a complex game. It, uh, this uh, rules booklet has several illustrations. And it goes... Weighing in at eight pages, but the last page is a counter manifesto, so it's seven pages of rules. And here we have the credits and the physical systems, Redmond Simonson, one of my favorites, rules editing, John Butterfield and David Ritchie. So they uh, very well known staff there. And here we have our mammoth counter sheet, 100 counters. These are the matte type that SPI used that when I was younger I didn't appreciate the value of matte counters. Now I look at my Avalon Hill uh, glossy counters and they look just terrible. These look as if the game was printed yesterday. They look great. Here we have the uh, back side. We're looking at the Mexican forces. Column number one under COS and we have column number Two here under, let me see if this thing wants to focus, under Duque, column number three under Romero, number four Morales, and number five is, man, why don't you focus? This is supposed to be autofocus. There you go, Amat. And here we have the Texans. We have uh, Dickerson, Travis, Bonham, Jim Bowie, Davy Crockett, and here we have the artillery pieces that both sides can use in the game. And here we have the Texans, and we have people from Texas, Tennessee, also uh, Kentucky, Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana, from unknown places, Pennsylvania, foreigners, Irish, English, New Yorkers, Virginians, and Alabamians. So this is the counter sheet. And uh, well, you're, you're saying they ripped you off. No map. No, they didn't rip me off. The map is already set up over here. I have uh, I've placed it under a sheet of Lexan. Uh, it's a thin, very thin uh, plexiglass. I think it's 1 16th of an inch. And I uh, have it on a magnetic board. I haven't decided if I'm going to make a video of this game. This is a light game. I like to uh, play light games between uh, long videos that I made. I just made a video for um, Paths of Glory, the solo uh, system or method that I've been working on. And that's being rendered now. And this is your typical uh, SPI map of the 80s. Very colorful. But you had everything that you needed on the map, every table every uh, chart. This one even goes uh, farther than that. You have even the line of sight examples here. So they really used the space efficiently. 
And you have the site here for the Texans with, again, the combat result table, terrain effect chart, and continued siege table. So you have, uh, it's a very ergonomic game. And let's take a look at the Alamo complex. Here we have uh, the Southern Wall. Mexicans in history, they stormed this area here. And how do I know that? I didn't read a book. I saw uh, today a show, a documentary on the, the Alamo. So they stormed this battery here, turned the battery around and started to fire at the uh, Texans. And you can see that once the Mexicans are in the courtyard, there's not much that can be done. The uh, defenders of the Alamo had neglected here the uh, called the North Wall. These are eight feet uh, tall, like uh, wooden uh, logs here with pointed logs, but that was easy for the Mexicans to uh, deal with. So uh, here we have uh, the uh, church, the churchyard. So that is the map. Not a lot to it, but uh, if you go to San Antonio, you will not see any of this because uh, they've done so much construction around it and even uh, on top of it that it's, uh, it's hard to recognize, even though it's still around or part of it is still around. So this is the map for the Alamo Victory in Death SPI 1981. This is Stuka Joe signing off for now. Thanks for watching.